Hey, so what's going on? It's Greg again. I'm back. And as you can see, I have a box from Kadabi. So Kadabi is probably one of my favorite cases. I know I say it about every single case, but in this, like I can just comfortably say I probably put the Kadabi case on my phone more than any other case. And I mean that. And the reason why is it offers that slim protection but also you know when it comes to drop protection that's there when it has a slim profile that's there as well but more importantly like they just look good and it doesn't matter you can get the variety of colors that they have it's still going to look good either way they sent me out this box as you can see it says minimalist perfection and trust me they mean what they say so that's all over the box pretty much some branding some stickers let's just get into it so as you can see we have their lookbook so this is the lookbook it says 2021 but not much has changed since then just like the iphone 13 to the 14 pro max need not too much has changed i mean i think that's pretty much it so they wrapped it up pretty nice as you can see we have four boxes here just open this up take this out and we're going to see what we have so obviously i have i have the iphone 14 pro max here so we have 40 cases so we have the synthesis in a black we have the sheath in mountain green we have another sheath in the steel blue and we have the sheath again in black so as you can see here we have the kadabe sheath in all three colors you have it in there green you have it in the blue as well as the black now me obviously having the purple iphone 14 pro max you're wondering which one i'd go with if you go and just look color wise you have green you have the blue and you have the black i personally think that it would probably look best in the green or the black the blue is nice but that's what we're here for in this video right so let's just go ahead and put them all on we'll start with the black we'll go from right to left because why not when you put on the black, this is what it's going to look like on the purple, I'm sorry, the deep purple iPhone 14 Pro Max. When you look at this, obviously at the back, it's going to be really nice, has a really nice textured grip to the back of it, which means that you're going to be able to hold it for a long extended period of time. I feel like if you sweat or if you have like wet hands, apparently it's going to like put moisture here. So just be mindful of that. Has a nice little like cutout for here. Camera cutout is a little bit raised. It's elevated as usual, you know, with Kadabe cases. Has very precise like cutouts for obviously like the camera lens here really nice buttons obviously then you have the cutout for the lightning port and the speaker grill really important because i like cases that don't feel like cases it feels like it's native to the phone and obviously kadabi does a good job with that the sides just have the same grip as the back of the phone so it won't feel like it's going to slide in your hand i think that's a big deal so if you are a fan of having grip protection on the side of your phones this is probably going to be the case for you because this grip is major it's not too aggressive but you know for a fact that you're protected from a drop or a fall or something like that and it just feels good in the hand on this side another thing i really wanted to touch on is the power button so the power buttons on all of the sheath cases have this plus and this minus a lot of people don't care about that but for me it's personally the attention to detail that matters the most not too many case makers actually even care about that but for people who just like extra when it comes to their cases you're going to get it with this and that's that plus and minus and then obviously you have the mute rocker right there on the back of it it has magsafe and it has a little line right there which for some reason it just matters to me when i see that it just feels like it's native to apple and to magsafe obviously i've had plenty of cases i've reviewed that just had the ring but when i see this it just feels like they just went that extra mile to make sure that the magsafe works so there's that has like a serial number so i'm assuming each case individualizes itself with a serial number it tells you that this is a genuine kadabe product and it was made with shock light now anybody who is familiar with kadabe's cases shock light is their drop protection so it does have that in the entire lineup of the sheath cases this is what the deep purple is going to look like in blue so you can see that for yourself it's really nice and this light it actually kind of looks a little purple to me but i know in real life it actually is a navy blue so this is the green with the Kadabe case. I think they knocked it out of the park with this green. Like that hunter green looks good in every iPhone color, in my personal opinion. But with the purple, it just adds that like that little bit of pop that is needed. This case for the sheath is impressed me since I've ever started reviewing Kadabe cases. And truthfully, it's going to be in my top five by the end of the year i promise but let's get into that synthesis case so here we have the synthesis so this one just like the sheath has a drop protection of six and a half feet 
up to two meters, MagSafe compatible, but this one has a protected screen lip. Now, that's a little bit different because when it comes to the sheath, it doesn't mention that it has the protective screen lip, but it does protect just a little bit. There's just a little bit of like elevation there, a little bit of give, but it's okay. Let's talk about the synthesis though. So we can open this up. Okay, and this is the black. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we gotta talk, people. We have to talk. C comparatively, here's the sheath, here's the synthesis. This is premium. Th this right here is, this may be the case. This, this might be the case, ladies and gentlemen. And I, you know I love me some sheath. I love me some sheath. But let's just go, before I even put this on here, let's just talk about the differences between these two. I wanna hold it, cause I'm left-handed, so let's just do it this way. So, when it comes to the synthesis versus the sheath, you can tell, first and foremost, that extra camera like spacing right there is just elite. Something about that is different to me. When it comes to material, this has a more rubberized, like textured feel. This just feels like the back of your, your average like case, but it's still subtle. It's like they use the same material, but this one doesn't feel as rubbery. It's the exact same material in my personal opinion. It's just less rubbery, which is cool because if you lay this down on the table, like this one's gonna slide a little bit more as you can see. But this one, I mean, same noise, but still, like, this one is gonna have less of a give than this one, but you know what, I can live with that. When we talk about the sides of the case, if we go back to back, obviously you still have the same significant things when it comes to the attention to detail to the plus and minus. You have the mute rocker. Now, the antenna lines aren't there, so that's something to note. Um, they did not do the antenna lines when it came to the synthesis versus the sheath, but you know, I really don't care about that in my personal opinion, but you have these grips on the side. So they wanted to make sure you still had grip, just like I talked about with the sheath, how does that grip on the side? There is grip and it's line going like sideways so when it's going sideways that means that if the phone slips out of your hand it's not just grips going in like straight lines going down which means that you can actually catch your phone if you drop it big deal for me big deal on the opposite side you have the exact same situation there you have grips on both sides that is amazing that is amazing and then on the inside of the case obviously you have mag safe just like you would with the sheath just a little bit of a divot here so that divot i'm assuming is for like the flash and for cameras and stuff like that this is so dope like wow i was i was really not expecting that also also if we could compare let's just try to compare really quickly when it comes to the actual camera lip and the reason why i'm laying them like this is so you can see it for yourself like they both look like they're about the same size but that camera lip here with the synthesis is much more prominent much more raised that is a huge deal especially for someone like me who i'm really protective about my cameras the sheath gives a little bit but this gives about like two times the amount of protection when it comes to it let me just put it on the case because i'm really excited to see how this feels in the hand with the phone on and of course i'm probably putting it on wrong but you know what you know me if you're new to this channel <laughs> i'm prone to do that but Feeling this in the hand, it feels amazing. This is the case for that person who's like, you know what, I want the protection on my phone, but I don't want it to feel like I went out of my way to spend $50 for a case. Like I just didn't go and spend money on a bulky case that it says it's gonna give me like 10 feet of drop. Nobody's dropping their phone from 10 feet. And when I say nobody, I'm saying like no one's like 11 feet tall. But also I know that if you do drop your phone, like it's usually the average height of about six feet. This is giving you that drop protection and it's so minimalistic. Like you pull out of your pocket, you're not gonna have lint balls all around your case because this phone case doesn't look like it's gonna do that. It doesn't look like it's gonna give you a whole bunch of like crap on your phone when you pull out of your pocket pocket it's sleek it just looks good on the tops obviously you have this cover sides we just talked about with that grip that matters to me when they talked about that lip though let's talk about that lip now obviously with the phone having the always on display you know I have to keep turning the thing on and off because it will do that so I apologize for that in advance when we talk about that raised lip this is exactly what they mean that raised lip is there right here at the top and there's no give. Compared to the sheet that has a little bit of a give, this is not coming off. Like, you know how some people change their cases a lot and the sides and the bottom start to fray to the point where you can't actually figure out like if the case is warping or not? This case is not gonna warp. It's not gonna warp at all. For some reason, I feel like this is going to be my go-to case. I, I love it. I honestly love all four of these cases. Again, you have the sheath in these three colors, and then you have the synthesis in this one. 
If I had to give you guys an option and say, you know what, like which one would I want you to go with? I would say to go with the synthesis. The synthesis is like if these were like the iPhone 14 and this is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. The synthesis is the iPhone 14 Pro Max of the Kadabi line. And I mean that. Th this is amazing. They knocked it out of the park with the synthesis and it's gonna probably be my favorite case so far. With that being said, I don't wanna talk at all too long. Again, you can find it at kadabe.com for all of these cases, the green, the blue, and the black for the Kadabe sheath, or you can go and step it up a notch and get you the synthesis. This has been my review, my unboxing of Kadabe's products. If you liked it, let me know with a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.